Napoli has just come off a historic run where they completely dominated Serie A en route to their first title in 33 years. Fans had realistic expectations of a treble next year, Champions League, Coppa Italia, Serie A. That is, until news came after the season ended that Luciano Spalletti was walking away. What looked to be the start of a dynasty has left the team in limbo. Who would Aurelio De Laurentiis bring in as a replacement to keep this project progressing forward? Meet Rudy Garcia. An anticlimactic hiring from Napoli in the eyes of the Partenope supporters. The rest of Serie A was quick to ridicule the sign I ain't gonna lie, I'm getting cooked. We'll take a look at Garcia's tactics and answer whether it will lead to continued dominance in Serie A and Europe or not. Why did ADL choose Garcia? He used tactical brilliance during this time as the manager of Olympic Lyonnais, known for his innovative approach to the game. Garcia left a lasting impact on Lyon's. One of Garcia's notable tactics was his emphasis of an attacking style of play. He encouraged his team to dominate possession and apply constant pressure on the opposition. This resulted in fluid and fast-paced attacking movements, often utilizing a dynamic front line. Garcia's performed formation was a 4-3-3, which allowed Lyon to maintain a strong presence in midfield while also providing width in the attacking areas. This formation suited Lyon's squad and allowed the front three to interchange positions and create space for each other. This style of attack suits Napoli perfectly. Their attack is fluid and love to interchange and find and create open spaces for themselves and their teammates, thus will suit Garcia's style perfectly. In the midfield, Garcia focused on building a solid foundation through a combination of technical ability and tactical discipline. Leon's midfielders acted as both ball carriers and playmakers, linking the defense to the attack seamlessly. Labotka off dropped in between the two center backs to start the possession off, getting the balls to the wing backs quickly. Then Labotka would join the attack with Zelensky and Ngisa to provide options for the front three, create a quality scoring chance. Another aspect of Garcia's tactics was his emphasis on high intensity pressing. Leon would often press aggressively in the opposition's half, disrupting their build up play and forcing turnovers. This approach put the opposition under constant pressure, making it difficult for them to maintain possession or create scoring opportunities. Defensively, Garcia focused on maintaining a compact and organized shape. Leon's players were disciplined in their positioning and worked as a cohesive unit to deny space to the opposition. The solidity at the back ensured Leon remained difficult to break down and it allowed them to quickly transition into counterattacks. One of Garcia's notable traits was his ability to make astute substitutions that influenced the outcome of matches. He often introduced fresh legs and tactical changes in the second half to exploit the weaknesses in the opposition or provide additional attacking emphasis. In summary, Rudy Garcia's tenure as Leon manager was characterized by an attacking style of play, high intensity pressing, and tactical flexibility. His ability to create a cohesive unit and make game changing substitutions allowed Leon to compete at the highest level. Will that bring success to Napoli? As you see, a lot of this jives well with Napoli. Positionally, this should be a seamless transition to, for the Partenope. Can Garcia get the best out of his players and provide consistent performances week in and week out as Paletti did? That is the true question mark. Garcia will actually be an upgrade in the big games where Napoli will be underdogs or equal to their opponents. Tactically showed his brilliance in big games at, at Lyon. Games against Manchester City and Paris Saint-Germain came up to the forefront. Rudy Garcia did tend to overthink some matches and deviated from his normal tactics to try and match or outwit his opponents, which backfired on him. Spalletti stuck to his bread and butter and it led to a domination. Garcia's history of outthinking himself put his team in, on the short end of the stick. I don't think a trouble is coming, nor a repeat of the title. Napoli will be in the mix for the title, but Garcia will be a step back for the club in terms of the league as a whole. Expect a much closer title race next season and perhaps a setback for both Victor Osimhen and Avicca Havrashelia. Hopefully, we're wrong. How do you think Rudy Garcia will take on at Napoli? Leave a comment below.